How's it going, everybody? My name is Dre Manning. Well, actually, it's Burke Cullinane, but I was told I have to say my name is Dre, even though it's Burke. But I mean, being Dre is pretty cool. Anyways, let's talk about how you can be the Jay-Z of video editing. So for anybody who's been stuck under a rock or you're just not into hip hop, you know what? You don't actually have to be into hip hop to know who Jay-Z is. If you've ever heard of Beyonce, well, Jay-Z is Beyonce's husband. So the dude is married to Beyonce. And if you haven't heard of Jay-Z or Beyonce, I mean, go look them up because that's a little bit ridiculous. But anyways, Jay-Z got his career started in the late 90s. Since 1998, he's gone to release 13 solo albums, three collaborative albums, launched two record labels, a music streaming service, a clothing line, and again, the dude is married to Beyonce. And he's just been so influential to thousands and thousands of people. That's not the most of jaw-dropping things he's done. I believe it was around like 2007 when Jay-Z told the general public he doesn't write his rhymes down. That's insane to think about. This dude has released hundreds and hundreds of verses and he's saying that he's never written any of them down. So I know, I know what you're probably thinking right now. Dre, what the f does Jay-Z have to do with video editing? Although Jay-Z mastered the skill of memorizing his rhymes, nothing about it was spontaneous. There was still some form of structure. So you, as a filmmaker, creator, videographer, cinematographer, whatever you label yourself as, when you go out to shoot, shoot to edit. Even if you don't have a specific goal or concept, when you go to shoot, you're gonna start to notice some trends. Here's an example. You'll start by shooting a car driving by, then maybe some stop signs, then some street signs, street lights, traffic lights, pedestrians walking. Maybe you even throw the drone up in the air to get some sweet aerial views of the traffic. Now, is it a rule that in order to make a good video, you have to have a shot list or a storyboard? No, of course not. The point I'm trying to make is that you want to have fun while shooting this. This is a suggestion that applies to a moment to moment basis. Is there a time where you want to follow this suggestion? Of course there is. When you're out shooting a short film, a commercial, or music videos, whatever it may be, you as a director or DP should be a visionary. Before even picking up your camera, you should almost see what the final product will be. Planning of the shots definitely will happen, and in most instances, it's in the form of a shot list or a storyboard. But in instances where you don't plan to shoot, you should definitely shoot to edit. How does Jay-Z's method tie into all of this? Well, as you're shooting these different shots, you begin to edit these different shots and angles in your head. It may even be a great idea to listen to music while you shoot. The reason being is because it can help evoke an emotion or a certain mood or vibe that you're trying to portray in your video. Look, creativity does not need to be complicated. Create your, your own, own workflow. workflow. A, workflow a workflow that allows, that allows you, you to be, to be creative. creative. Work, smarter, Work smarter, not harder. Break boundaries and create greatness. My name is Dre Manning. This is Dollar in a Dream. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As always, none of this matters if you don't go out there and apply it. Just shoot your shot.